We are, we are on. All right, Shalom. Well, we we'll start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Akakadash. Double honor to the apostles. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, brought the thumb to the whole lake. Shalom, Shalom. Hey, there you go. That's how you know we on, man. Here go the madness started. You know? <laughs> but hey, we the brothers out here at Great Millstone, Kansas City. Out another weekend, week out, prophesying the downfall of America and to teach you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans your true identity and tell you the secrets of the Bible, man. Now, one of the secrets of the Bible we're going to start going into is the end and the destruction of this place you call America and other Western civilizations worldwide. But the Bible specifically has judgment set against this place because this is a place of harlotry, the place of wickedness, uh, witchcraft, idolatry, adultery, uncleanness, all these things happen on a daily basis. That's why we pray for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, to relieve us of this burden, man. That's right. The burden of waking up in America, the burden of turning on the TV and seeing undesirables, the, the burden of walking outside your door and seeing undesirables. You know, you go to your job, you got evil, evil, uh, neat women. You know, and you got evil niggas walking amongst us, man. But the but the ultimate remedy to all these problems is nuclear missiles falling upon America, man. Right. Uh, Y'all got please. I got one. Bring them out real quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse six. It's folly set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Said folly is set in great dignity, man. So if you own folly, if you don't stand for nothing, if you're doing, you know, things that are not honorable, things that are not integral. Hey, you, you're a boosted high in this society, man. You know, that rapper game. <laughs> the brothers in LA, they was going into this a couple weeks ago. He was offering dudes money to do some wild and gross shit, man, and they did it. They offered a simple ass Iskra right $500 to swallow a goldfish, man. He, he went to the mall and talked to the nigga woman. He said, you gotta dig in the trash and whatever you find out, you gotta eat it, man. Dang. This bitch then pulled out a damn star empty have empty Starbucks cup and drink that shit, man. That's great dignity. But it's saying, but the rich shit in low place. And it's not about worldly riches. It's about wisdom, man. It's about having the wisdom knowledge of your Bashim Yahweh Shai. But because the scriptures say that is more precious than rubies, man. But the rich, when you have wisdom, you sit in a low place. Well, this is the book of Nahum, three and one. It says, woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery, and the prey departed not. <clears throat> it says the noise of a whip, and the noise of the riding of the wheels, and the prancing horses, and of jumping chariots. Okay, the bloody city is America. Okay, because it's full of bloodshed, robbery, murder, rape. Okay, like the brother went into folly said in great dignity. Like, how the hell do you get a Starbucks cup and you drink out of that shit, man? Okay, now you don't know what's been in there. Cigarette butts, man. Like when you go to these waste field sites, these land sites, and they dump that shit, that sewage, man. You see all types of stuff in there. Diapers, condoms, tampons, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you people are uh, basically a uh, uh, cesspool of evilness, man. Okay? Because, hey, to show you that the people in America is on a low level, think about it, man. Like, if you tell yourself, I'm going to do whatever it takes for money, that means you have no integrity. Because it's a certain shit that ain't worth selling off for, man. Like, you're not going to pay me to eat out of garbage can, man. Okay? And that's in dire circumstances. Because they showed you that in Venezuela that when that economy collapsed, people were literally eating flamingos and they were literally eating out of the fucking trash compactors, man. Okay? And that's the mindset of you people. You people are trash, man. That's right. Okay? And the prophets have been out here week in and week out to warn you of the impending danger for your behaviors. Okay? Uh, going on here. And it says here, the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. There is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none end of their corpses and they stumble upon their corpses because the dead out here is going to be innumerable, man. Okay, a lot of you people are just going to straight up just be put to death, man. Okay, because for one thing, you're not even harboring the spirit of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Okay, you in your cars, you going to clubs, which is nothing wrong with going out and have a good time, but you people, you don't have fucking balance. Okay, you don't have balance, you don't have favor, you don't have dignity, you don't have fucking integrity, you don't have shit, man. Only thing you care about is a fucking paycheck, Snapchat, Instagram, eating, smoking weed, doing all manners of wickedness, man. You don't care about the Lord. 
Basics. Nor do you care about his men. Basic. Basic shit, man. Basic. Like you a bunch of basic ass people. And you gonna die excruciating death. Right. And it says here, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, why is this place well favored? Because of opportunity. You can come here and get rich. Like upon a time, they really thought that this shit was New Jerusalem. They thought back during the time of the still ages in the, in, in the 30s and shit, they really thought that the streets of America was gold. Of gold. But they found out that you come over here as nothing but goddamn slavery, man. Okay? Like the brother d -Mash was going into the prison system. Brother uh, that was prophesied with him got locked up 20 some years ago and basically they denied him of certain privileges, man. But I thought getting back in Serbia prison sentence was basically a... Uh, uh, a way back into society, man. I thought that was a way of paying your debt. But yet, they still hold boundaries over your head. You can't own a gun, okay? You can't get an apartment. You can't get fucking Section 8 or food stamps. So yet, they expect you to go back and commit more crimes, man. It's fucking hypocrisy. And it reads, it says, in a mistress of witchcrafts that's selling nations through her whoredoms and the families through her witchcrafts, man. And hey, slavery. Slavery, rituals, man. Okay, sex trafficking. These corporations going down on Wall Street, the stock market, people being literally harvested on fucking stock market, man. You know? That's how you got all these Fortune 500 companies out here, these businesses. How you got the Tesla, how you got uh, what you call uh, fucking JP Morgan. All these corporations, Sears, you know? All these places, man. These skyscrapers that was being built, that was being built off the back of slaves, man. Slave labor, man. That's right. Nope. Say they sell a nation for their witchcrafts, man. Right. That's why America gotta be er er eradicated off the planet Earth. Cause not only is it polluting the, uh, the, the the civilians living here, but it's also affecting people worldwide, man. As we also, as we always bring up, ain't hey, shouldn't be no damn McDonald's in Russia. Shouldn't be no McDonald's in China, man. But this this is what we deal with. Everybody wanna wanna wear makeup. Everybody wanna have blonde hair. Everybody wanna get on TikTok. And do twerk videos. Why is that, man? It's because they they've been sold out through the whoredoms of America. But as we gonna get on this Psalm 97, this goes into the destruction as we brought upon earlier. This goes into the solution, man. The brother the brother mentioned earlier that you people are considered trash, man. Now now hey, what you supposed to do with trash to get rid of it properly is burn it, man. Right. It's the same thing you how about Shimia Shai is about to do. When he unleashes nuclear hell upon you people, man. Go ahead, I. It's the book of Psalms 97, verse 1. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. Hey, so, <laughs> hey, why, why would you rejoice in clouds and darkness, man? Because that's the eradication of the wicked, man. Right. That's why the earth is rejoicing. It's because the eradication of the most evil, evil uh, kingdom that's ever been on this planet Earth. You see, this song, this is a prophecy for the future times, man. Okay. And it says, a fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. And it says, his lightnings entangleth the world. Enlightened the world. Enlightened the world. It's not it. The earth saw and trembled. Hey, hey. see, when Yahweh when, when Shah comes back on that on that father ship, that's them lightnings, man. The word, the word is gonna tremble when you see a big ass father ship start zapping niggas, man. Simple and plain. That's what King David is seeing. But he's telling you to rejoice at this. Because this is the this is the, uh, the the freedom of our captivity. Freedom of our captivity comes with uh, death, destruction, uh, darkness, clouds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cherries popping up, right. niggas getting zapped, nuclear missiles dropping. Hey, and we deserve it. This is the worst captivity ever, man. We should be free with a with a mighty deliverance, man. Well, you know what, man? That's the spirit because hey, out Ukraine, they they, they said it's a fleet of cherries over that war zone, man. He saw caught it up, he picked up on it, and they broadcast that on uh, the New York Post. Okay, so now since Esau been declassifying the chariots, everybody's been seeing them, they can't they can't deny it no more. Like that one lady, I think she was like on TikTok or some shit, 
when they showed that dark figure, it was an angel in the air. It was yeah. like he was getting ready to throw a command at her. She like, if it was a person, it looked like a person in the air. And he was just hoovering over her ass, man. And that could have been that same death angel that the Lord had the whole back. Fucking up Israel, you remember when he was on the sword? That could have been that same death angel, man. Because remember, spirits are, hey, the spirits don't die, man. Those angels that Ezekiel's will, that they call Esau calls it, hey, that's still around. So those death angels that the Most High released on Jake 4,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, those same spirits are still in the earth today, man. Known as the, the known as the, the, uh, the powers, man. Okay? That's right. The verse said up, up before, it says righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. Right. Now, what's his throne? This is going to be his fathership when he comes back, man. He's going to be sitting on that. Now, if that's surrounded by judgments, not, doesn't that mean much death is going to be yep. surrounded in? That's right. Huh? So when they see that uh, that Independence Day type fathership crack this sky with all that fire around about it, just know it's going to be a massive amount of people, billions being killed, man. Yeah, yeah. Being what? killed, man. It's going to be thousands upon thousands on a day, on a daily basis. Yeah. Hey, didn't the scripture say that they should stumble up their carcasses, man? And the dead should be cast out as dumb? Because literally, like, when you watch that movie, no. Even though a lot of people didn't like that movie, but that movie had a very sinister vibe to it, man. It was just something unsettling about the way that shit was moving, right? Because right? that wasn't of this world. That was a fourth dimension matter, dimensional matter. So when the Most High really started showing these chariots and the spirit, Amuan Gabar, he picked up on one. He just picked up on a ship on his uh, on his video we did. And when I went outside last night, it was a cluster of, of, of lights just in the sky, man, and it's like they were moving. It was like a cluster of chariots, man. I'm like, wow, those are the chariots. You know, but hey, when they manifest themselves in this dimension, you people are gonna freak the fuck out. Why? Because you ain't paying attention to nothing, man. Out of all the hell breaking loose, man, all the bullshit happening in the world, hell fucking storms, man, New York getting pummeled by tsunamis, okay, earthquakes of eight and greater, and yeah, you niggas are still all on the fucking internet, man. That's why, hey, the best thing for this society when the Most High cut that internet, man, that's when you people gonna fucking wake up, man. That's right. right. The Most High gonna cut that fucking, that narcissist spirit you people are dealing in, man. Right, Because you, you people, you are proud, man. That's right. You're proud, man, for nothing. That's right. You have no reason to be proud, man. You're the lowest of the lowest of the society. Nobody likes you Americans. Nobody. You know? That's right, man. Oh, that could never happen to us. Well, guess what? It's gonna happen to you, man. Because the Most High got a special judgment for Babylon the Great, man. Yep. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Psalm 97, verse 1. Somebody give me an Isaiah 66, man. The hour reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Right, the Most High reigneth, man. Let the earth rejoice, okay? Because when the Most High sets us up in righteousness, hey, the nations, they say, hey, man, surely the Lord has blessed them. Because when we get set up on our power, bro, we ain't gonna never be afflicted again. Because the scriptures say, though I pushed you away or turned you away with sorrow, I should again bring you together with rejoicing and hope, man. So when the Lord bring us back in the fold and, and we get our power back, hey, we ain't gonna worry about a goddamn thing, man. We ain't gonna worry about no taxes, no oppression, no Edomites, man. Yeah. No fucking nigga women, no grimy ass niggas. We ain't gonna worry about none of that shit, man. Because we gonna be in power doing what we supposed to do. Putting you damn heathens in slavery, man. Right. Beating your backs, man. Yeah. And these are things we meditate on on a daily. Daily. Man. That's right. Every time we doing our bullshit jobs, we we think about how we gonna how we gonna get down when we the boss, man. Damn. Bro. When we got the scepter in our hands, man. When we got the rod of iron to break you nations in pieces, man. And we also meditate how to get on you wicked ass two thirds when that time comes to. Oh, two thirds, man. You niggas gotta you go. Got judgment set for your yeah. your evil ass too. Niggas. niggas gotta go, man. <laughs> Them, bro, Jake is that wicked, bro. Like, a nigga will throw off the whole fucking vibe, man. It, yeah. It's always a nigga, man. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. This is Psalms chapter 1 and verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh. Yeah. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. Yeah, because when you understand the law, you understand judgments as well, man. That's what come with it. You got rules and you got uh punishments for breaking the rules, man. But when you when you're not involved in that, hey bro, the world, when you we involved in the world, they this this a free-for-all, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The 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 the, the men that are in the right spirit of your how about Shimia Shah, 
we the only ones that are displaying true law and order in this world, man. Even law and order don't exist in the court system, man. Cause that's bullshit. But but around us, around us right here, this is righteousness, man. Yeah. Right. Well, I got a precept here going back. This is the book of Isaiah 61. And I'm gonna start at verses uh 14. It says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, man. Yeah, they didn't burn it like this shit. Y'all feel something fall on you? Yeah. yeah. Good job. Good job. We making the birds nervous, man. <laughs> Don't read that back, though. This is the book of Isaiah 561, and I'm going to start at verses, um, matter of fact, I'm going to start at verses um, 11. And it says here, Therefore thy gates should be open continually, and they should be shut, nor day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, that they kings may be brought, man. They're literally going to bring us substance to the point, you know, like when you get so many gifts, to the point you ain't got nowhere to put this shit. Hmm. Man, literally, bro, they're going to be bringing us women, spices, here, take my daughter. They're going to want you to take their daughters just so they can be invited over to the reunions we got and shit like that, man. You know, when we put babies in them and all that stuff, they just going to want to have a part of what we got, man. Okay? Because, hey, they know that we're the power. They know that we're the gods of the earth. Right. See, they don't believe it now because, hey, they've been duped down by Esau Edom. That's why this nigga Vocab Malone keep coming up with his madness, with his BS. Okay, but in the spirit, he know that we the chosen people, man. Okay, and it reads here, and it says, But a nation in the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, and yea, those nations shall, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Okay, because if you don't bow down to the Lord, you're going to be wasted. Esau, Edom, hey, he's going to have that pride on him until he get his ass destroyed completely. But that's good though. Why? Because hey, why beat up on a person that ain't got no pride on, man? Mm -hmm. It'd be good when Esau talk shit to the gods of the universe and we could just go and kick him right in the fucking mouth, man. Oh, what you gonna do today, nigga? Are you gonna put me in chains, nigga? Yeah, we gonna fuck you up. Y'all wanna move? Sure. Unless y'all gonna stand under the sun. I mean, it don't matter. Come up under the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it got on. Good shit. Go ahead and have some of 97 now. Go ahead. This is the book of uh, Psalms 97, verse 1. Yahweh reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad thereof. And it says, clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. Burning up his enemies round about, man. Now, hey, when, when has anybody seen that? I mean, obviously you got the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but he that, that wasn't, that yeah. wasn't what? Righteous man, that wasn't a, a, a righteous a uh, flame man. See what I'm saying? When the Lord, when the Lord unleashes, when the Lord unleashes missiles all upon America, that's a righteous flame. That's a righteous attack, man. Because the missiles belong to Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. He just gives them to the heathen so they can hold them, so they can maintain them, so they can keep them ready, man. But them missiles all belong to Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, and he decides where they, he decides where they come upon, man. It says, his lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of Yahweh, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. Right, and when you read into the scriptures, the hills and mountains, that goes into governments. You know what I'm saying? When they say hills, hills and mountains, that, that's at all these Western nations, you know, all these uh, EU, NATO, all that is about to be melted through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shah. Yep. When 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 the uh, when the terror of the Lord starts coming upon you people, hey, then that's when you gonna know that there's a real power in the earth. 
Because it's already going to be, when it say I come to bring a fire, what will I have already kindled, man? You know? It's already going to be jumping on, <laughs> jumping on the earth by the time these missiles hit these wicked ass niggas. Yep. Dyke ass bitch. Wait, God. And it says, the heavens declare his righteousness. And all the people see his glory. And all the people see his glory, man. Everybody's gonna see Yahweh Shah when he returns, man. Cause what does it say? He say the brightness of his coming. How you how you gonna be able to miss a big ass father ship in the air, man? Zapping niggas. How you gonna miss that? It's gonna be on CNN. It's gonna be on MSNBC. <laughs> it's gonna be on local news, man. It's gonna be overseas, though. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna be on Instagram, nigga. <laughs> <America. laughs> right. It'll be televised. All right. Verse five it says the hills melted like wax at the presence of Yahweh, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. So the, the, the hills melt, man. And that, that scripture goes right in, right in hand, right in hand with uh, when it says the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the mountains shall be turned into blood. You know, that, that fervent heat, the, the, the power of the Al-Bashim al man, you can't even imagine. That's why they were so terrified when Moses went up to, to Mount Sinai to meet with the Lord, man. You can still see that mountain today burn and charred, man. Verse 6, the heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. See, worship him, all ye gods. And they say that with a lowercase g. Now that's not speaking to everybody on this on this planet Earth, man. You know? All these billions of all these billions of gooks in China, they ain't no gods, man. You know, all these billions of uh, coolies in India. They ain't no gods, man. It was speaking to the Israelites, man. Because it also in the Psalm, I think it's Psalm 64, it say, ye are gods, man. So it's speaking to us. It's saying to worship him. Because everybody who worships graven images or idols is confounded, man. Yep. Niggas going to pray to the ancestors. Right. Niggas going to pray to the divine feminine to, to help them in Jacob's trouble and save them from nuclear missiles, man. Right. But there ain't no remedy for that. All your, all your idols are going to fail you in that Yeah, day. these are the same bitches that's talking about the divine feminism, but they all jabbed up. How the hell are you going to believe in divine feminism and the goddess from the dead, but yet you getting the fucking walk with you, spreading poison? What kind of counterproductive shit is that? And it says, Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced, because of thy judgments, O Yahweh. Hey, it, it, read that one more time. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Yahweh. They rejoiced because of the judgments, man. Not only are we going to rejoice when the missiles drop, but we also going to rejoice when we see this Jacob trouble, man. Yep. But this is why we, you got to understand the concept of the two-third and the one-third, man. Because niggas, they not going to rejoice at the judgments of the Lord. Niggas is going to get mad at the Lord when they, when they, when they, when the Lord kill his mama. When the Lord kill his baby mama. When the Lord kill all 15 of his kids, man. You see? But you got to be in the right spirit to rejoice at things like that. Because this is, this are the, these are the actions that are leading to your deliverance. Hey. It says, uh. For thou, Yahweh, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love Yahweh hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints and delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Hey, read that again. This, hey, you gotta believe in this. You gotta believe in this. No matter how, how gloomy these days get, no matter how, how hard this hell get, man, you gotta believe this. Read that again. I, it says, ye that love Yahweh hate evil. Right. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He preserveth the souls of his saints, man. 
So if the Lord is really dealing with you, obviously we know that there's going to be martyrs in these last days. But for the most part, a lot of the, of the elect are going to be preserved, man. You got to just believe that. You got to hold that near to you. You got to hold these words near to you, man. Go ahead. And it says, He preserved the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. That don't mean he might do it. Yeah. That don't mean he thinking about doing it. You know, that's, that's a sure thing. He delivered the, the soul out of the hand of the wicked, man. Because we the only ones that are standing up for righteousness against this place, man. Yep. That's why I say, ye that love the Lord hate evil. Uh, it says, light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in Yahweh, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Call all your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Call all your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. They say give thanks at his remembrance, man. Because, hey, the Lord never cast off his people. Right. As much, as much whole shit as we did as a nation, man, the Lord still had enough integrity to be bound by his word not to do away with us, man. And it's called all your Yahweh Hashem for that, man. And through that covenant that he gave, Abraham, he about to destroy this fucking place and, and uh and increase us, man, and upgrade us. There's the book of First Peter 1, and I'm gonna start at 3. It says, Blessed be Yahweh, the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from the dead. Okay? It says, to an inheritance incorruptible. And undefiled, and that faded not away, yeah. reserved in heaven for you. Dang. Okay, and that's the precept right there, man. It's gonna be a reward for what we're doing. Okay, yeah, we catching hell. Yeah, we in a low state. It's gonna come a time that we're not gonna be on a low state. Okay, because these people are not gonna be around. See, the cause of our affliction is these people right here. They are tight. The Edomites, man. That's the hell. That's the curse that the Most High brought upon us. But once they're eradicated, then hey, we're gonna be okay. We're going to be built back in power. The our earth is not going to be devoured anymore. Okay, people are going to prosper. The weather's going to be right. Like right now, it's September. Ain't no way in fucking hell is 90 degrees out here, man. 90 is going to be 99 winds, baby. It's going to drop down to fucking 60. This is the worst state to live in, man. Okay, you either hot or cold. There's no perfect weather here. Bullshit. It's the bullshit, man. You come out here, you sweating and shit, man. It makes it that much more frustrating to come out here, but hey, we ain't gonna be able to deal with this too much. We're not gonna deal with this for too much longer, okay? And it reads here, it says, who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, wherein you greatly rejoice through now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations, man. And every brother that we know are in heaviness right now. All brothers are going through some shit. They're mourning, they're catching hell, they're sick, bodies are aching. Shit, me, myself, I had an aching elbow going on four or five months, man. You know? And it, it is, it's like I hurt the motherfucker yesterday. It ain't went away. You know, brothers are suffering from back pain. You know, brothers can barely walk. All types of shit, man. It's called heaviness, sorrow. But hey, the Lord said with rejoicing and gladness, he's gonna bring us back, man. So we gotta hold on to that hope, because it's all about hope. Because Jake ain't got no hope out here. So if they ain't got hope, we gotta have hope. Because believe it or not, we out here for these niggas, man. Yeah. Okay? This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 43. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. To his people and his land. And that ain't talking about them rats yeah. over there in the land of Israel, right? Trying to build the third temple. You fucking heathens ain't got no building with that, man. You don't have no dealings with that. Your defiled hands can't work on the temple of the Most High. Okay? Because the third temple is being built, resurrected right before you. That's right. The brothers you see out here makes up a stone of that temple, Lord willing, be chosen. Because the third temple is not a physical thing. It's spiritual, man. That's why you fucking people in the land, you don't understand that. Because the spirit of the Lord is not with you. Okay? Yeah. And the basically said it earlier, that proves also that you other nations can't be saved. But it says the ones that you that don't want to serve, man, y'all, we gonna put hell on y'all, man. You know? Because Esau was trying to tell you that 
that there's a nation of people today that's a spiritual Israelite like that they can just be grafted in with. They're they going to have a complete awakening in the kingdom or such thing. Because they're going to realize that there's a physical bloodline of lineage of the Lord with Dylan. And those of those people is who's going to have mercy on their redeemed. And if you're not with it, you're going to get put in chains, man. You're going to be put in chains. Right. I got uh, Psalm 98. Go ahead. It's Psalm 98, verse 1. It says, O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. For his right hand and his, and his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. See? And Yahweh Shah, he has sat down at the right hand of the Most High, man. So Yahweh Shah, he's going to get Yahweh the victory. But, hey, as we're going into, he's going to show up with the, with the brightness of his coming. He's not just gonna get the victory by showing up and say, all right, all, all y'all need to listen to me. No. Yeah. He's about to show up and inflict pain on niggas, man. Right. He's about to laser beam uh skyscrapers in half, man, and just cut that shit off. <laughs> he about to drop spirit bombs on bi on billions of niggas at once, man. That's right. I, I, hey, hey, y'all better battle fuck down, man. Y'all better rec recognize your ruler, man. I got it. Perfect. Go ahead, uh. This is uh Luke chapter 19, verse 27. <laughs> But those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Hey, it says my friends? No. Enemies. My enemies. Read that again. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Right. So, hey, the most high, hey, yeah, how was shy, man, going to destine his men to bring you niggas, because that's going into you niggas and you heathens, but mainly you niggas. Cause you niggas will not bow down your house shot. Yep. We're gonna grab your ass up, we're gonna put you down, and we're gonna cut your goddamn and through the spirit, through the, the orders of the Lord, you're gonna get the judgment on the spot. And that's the Lord you're talking about. Yeah. So hey vocab, all you Hellcat driving niggas, you're gonna die in that damn Hellcat, man. Right. But vocab, why don't you bring that out, man? Bring out the fact that your house shot is a man of war. Woo. Why do you think when they described it in Revelation, the first chapter, they said he had the gold belt around the girdles of the paps? Hey, that's a war belt, man. Right. Men wear girdles because a lot of times in war, man, when man poke you through the torso, that yeah, could be a rats. constant death sentence, yeah. man. That proved that our Lord and Savior is coming back for war, man. Yeah. You know? And the term gird up their loins, it was actual term. The men took their garments and they wrapped it around as a diaper so they nuts don't get caught up in battle, man. Mm. You know? That's hard. That's so, hard. hey, the Lord, man, he's coming back with vengeance in his heart. In the year his redeemed is near, man, for you wicked ass niggas out there. Because you know what? You Jake's gotta go, man. That's right. You wicked ass niggas, you gotta fucking go. Alright? You King David, fossilites, you clowns, man. Hey, that bugged out nigga, what's his name? Uh S man, you are bugged out. Most high's not dealing with you. And the Lord's gonna kill you, man. That's right. right. And he's gonna kill that snot nosed booger that solidify your bullshit, man. Talking shit, talking about apostles to heart, need to give up the spirit. Nah, nigga, you gonna have a public death, man. Yep. Because at this point, man, you're justified on having curses thrown up on you. Because none of you clowns are sincere. None of you. You ain't sincere about this thing. Doing lessons, starting your introduction, smiling and shit. Nigga, get real with this thing, man, or go home. Right. Fucking bum. This is uh, Psalm 98, verse 1. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he had done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm had gotten him the victory. The Lord had made known his salvation 